All systems nominal. Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of uh, MechWare Online. And this episode I'm doing the Victor 9S for you. And it's, um, this is actually an assault mech. Uh, it's the only assault mech I have and am willing to play because as you get more into the assault mechs, uh, they get slower and slower and not very maneuverable. The Victor, I consider to be just a fat uh, heavy, basically. A fat heavy. That's, that's all he is. He's a, like, I'm going 72.4 kph uh, with the XL engine, which is the more vulnerable engine, but lighter. So I can have more weapons, and I should also probably assign the AC-20 to my weapon group. And so, you know, usually when mechs are near kind of the threshold of what they consider to be like, you know, between heavy and assault, uh, even though the Victor is an assault, uh, it's 80 tons, uh, which is about 15 more tons over things like the Catapult and Jagger mech that I showed you before. So it's really not that big of a deal. Uh, and it's and as I said, it plays a bit more like uh, a heavy, to be honest. So this mech in particular, what's so special about this one? Well, it has jump jets. That's what it has. And I also hit that guy, even though I didn't intend to. Uh, I don't think I'm going to run in there. Because we are right now playing on one of the hottest maps, and this guy is getting his ass absolutely handed to him. Um, jump jets is the whole reason I, I, I decided to play this mech. Alright, you know what? You, you can go in there. Oh, nope, never mind. I'm just going to fall down here. Now, jump jets on an assault are freaking amazing. And what you essentially do with that is... Uh, you know what? Jump jets... Okay, uh, let me correct myself. Jump jets, period, are freaking amazing. Uh, the reason why jump jets are amazing is because... There's not a whole lot you can do when you max out armor. Uh, you max out armor. The, the only thing you can really do defensively is, you know, they they ain't AMS. The the it's basically the anti missile system and shoots down LRMs. Um, doesn't really help all that much. And you know, there's not many defensive things you can get. The the the, the, the jump jets though are amazing for acquired. for defensive purposes because you can just use them to kind of like jump shit over obstacles to take shortcuts. Uh, do all kinds of other funky stuff with that. And also, when you're up close to somebody... Okay, so this guy's running away from somebody. I missed him. Okay, sorry, man. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna... I, even though we crawled all the way back up here, we're gonna go all the way this way. So it's it's a way you can negate damage in so many ways, uh, other than just, you know, having armor. It's one of the best defensive uh, or utility items you can have. It takes up a couple of tons. So there's that. Um, this variant in particular, all, most of the Victor variants, I won't lie, are basically the same. There's two in particular I will be showing you today. Uh, this is the Fuzzy Dice variant. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, this is the one that can actually, the better one that can have, uh, basically, uh, it can have a, an AC-20 on it. The other one has like a lower arm actuator or something. So there's that. Um, it's, uh, it's important to note though that look how far I can, this is as far as I can stretch my arms. So if I, you know, I'm trying to make twitch shots, uh, that's as far as I, that's as far as I can make it do anything. Um, which is, you know, it's not bad. Is this our guy? Nope. Oh, he's dead. Never mind. I didn't have to do a thing. So I have an AC-20 and the AC-20 does a shit ton of damage. Uh, and it's really quite nice for basically just kind of like suppressing people and all that kind of stuff. The PPCs I have, though, have a 90 meter minimum range. It will not do any damage past 90 meters. But it's important to note, though, when people get within my uh, uh, my optimal range, which is 90 to 270 meters, uh, I do 40 damage to them. That's a fuck ton of damage. That, that, stretch, that arm stretched out a lot, and that's mostly because I was zoomed in. Uh, please note that that makes a difference, actually, the zooming in. So, you know, you can just poke your head around, or I can jump shit over things, which is essentially uh, what they call in this game jump sniping. People actually hate that. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm turning my arm, and this is a strategy you do basically so that my arm takes the brunt of the damage, because I have a vulnerable side torso because of the fact I use uh, XL engines. Uh, I know it's an XL engine on on a on an assault, but it's it's better this way, trust me. Okay, let me... Let me oh. So I could, I could turn around kind of in a dime, although I kind of just fell off, but this is probably not a bad place for me to be. Target acquired. And it's another victor, so I'll show you an example of ju Fuel. jump sniping. There you go. And I just I basically just took that guy's ass out with my 40 damage. He didn't know I was there. Acquired. I just popped out and kicked his ass. It was, it was amazing. So right now we might be screwed because I don't actually know how much is up there. 
Uh, but this is what makes this an amazing, uh, amazing mech. Um, unfortunately, the hard points make it very unreliable to do many builds with it. Um, because it's just like, this one versus uh, another one, which is I think the 9k, the only difference is another ballistic slot, which, do I fucking need it? No, because I, I only put like one weapon in the ballistics. And, uh, and you give up basically a missile slot. There's actually missile slots in the torso, which I never use. So, good on me. So I'm gonna chase this guy down, even though it's a terrible idea. So I'm using basically, and once again, come on, and bam! Oh, He's running for a point, fuck. But anyways, uh, I, he can't take shortcuts, I can. So this is how I make up for my probably slightly slower speed. Okay, well, we just kind of separated from our team and just let them die. However, I have a uh, pretty good range. The PPCs will give you pretty good range, and the AC-20, you know, if they get within that 90, uh, 90 meter minimum range, the AC-20 hurts. I don't think you guys understand. It, it fucking hurts. Okay, everyone's just following me. Oh, there's a Highlander right there. And... Get up. So what the, the other thing I do is I have my my primary uh, I have my all my keys set on uh, uh sorry like PPCs are on left click because they fire from my left arm and uh, AC20 from my right arm because it makes it simpler that way for me to kind of wrap my head around it uh, and that's that's kind of what that's kind of why I do it this way and so I consider this to be kind of like a brawling mech and there you go. It's a very high damage alpha, very fun build, and you get a lot of armor to go with it. That's where that 80 tons goes. It goes to both jump jets and armor. And this is a build that actually started on my Jager mechs, uh, which is funny enough, but I, I decided that the this Victor would actually do it better, and it does. It does it much better. So that was a really good game for me. Uh, even though I got a ton of kills, but not a lot of money, uh, whatever. All systems. I'm sorry, but when I said yes, oh, sorry, when I said last uh, game that, uh, uh, the 9K was the useless variant. Uh, I meant the 9B. This is the 9K. Uh, the 9K is not that bad. So the 9K is... Um, it has a hand actuator, so you can't actually put an AC-20 on it. So I was wondering how, what the fuck I could even do with it. And uh, my friend uh, Zan told me, why don't you try doing a jump sniping build? And jump sniping in this game is considered... Uh, Target uh, you're, you're considered to be an asshole when you do that kind of. like It's, it's kind of a cheesy build. I'm not gonna lie, uh, because you basically get to not be put into danger while you, you know, basically jump and snipe. Um, but you know, it's 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 still a sniper build, so I, I'll show you guys. Um, but you know, if you honestly expect anything else from my channel than uh, you know anything other than sniper builds, then you are sorely mistaken. So uh, I'm using ER PPCs. Uh, which run really fucking hot now. I wouldn't actually recommend really running them. I'm just doing it just to be different. Uh, just to show you something a little different. Because here's the thing. 90 meters have that... Uh, there's a 90 meter minimum range on, on, on uh, PPCs. Makes it kind of tough to... To do very much with that. Uh, let's go hit that guy. Because uh, when someone comes close to you with a Goss, because people will notice what you have. They can, tar they can target you and see what weapons you have. Uh, when they notice you have that PPC, they are more than happy to take advantage of that. And they will just run right up to you and go, Der Herp derp, uh, I'm winning because I am the guy at close range. It's 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 kind of shitty, by the way, this is advanced zoom module, this is how I'm doing it. So, uh, I just press V and I have to have a module come for it. Uh, so, ear PPCs remove that 90 meter minimum range, um, and they give you a lot more range, especially if you're sniping, uh, you know, you may like that, you get more range out of it. Uh, but they run hot as hell. Uh, this is the equivalent of running three normal PPCs, as you saw from that last game. And they, they still pr ran pretty hot, but that's, that's with, that's with the AC-20, the AC-20 makes a, a fair bit of heat. Uh, but the Goss makes no heat, so that's why I kind of, I'm not firing the Goss right now, because, uh, well, you know, I don't know why not. I only get 30 shots with it. I only like to use the Goss if I have a guaranteed hit on somebody. Because the, the, the Goss and the PPCs kind of have a different projectile speed. By the way, this guy's ECM, so nobody's getting a lock on me, so this is really nice. 
Um, so this is kind of why I do this. So it's it's I'm not jump sniping right now actually, but if I if I ca I could I wanted to this variant in particular can actually have two more jump jets, uh, which is kind of nice. Uh, so I can I can go much higher than I can in the well a little bit higher, not not much higher. Uh, can't really see anybody else. Oh here, this guy wants to die. Oh nope, I missed. Advanced zoom is difficult, man. Looks like we're kind of kicking their ass. I'm not gonna lie, this is kind of a roll. Oh, here we go. Uh, yeah, I hit him, because the crosshair went red, even though it may have not looked like it. Um, so yeah, there's that. There you go. So when they stand still, I, I can get my hit off. I know, I know, I know I'll be able to do it. I, I at least like to get one hit off on people. Uh, this guy's running kind of hot. So is that. Also, another important thing to note, I'll show you real quick. Remember the arm length I showed you before? Uh, not zoomed in, of course. That's how far it goes on this one, because it has a hand actuator. So hand actuators make a difference in that sense. Uh, so that's kind of interesting. So let's go Let's go somewhere fun. Or actually not, because uh, we have ECM here. I like ECM. So, uh, I'm not jump sniping right now. I'll, I'll try and do it just so you get the idea of why it is. And people consider it very scummy because if people have high DPS weapons, these are, I'm not gonna lie, it's one hit wonder weapons. And the ERPPCs run so fucking hot. This is a real, this is like one of the coldest maps there is. And I'm like, you know, I'm still like having to kind of watch my fire basically. Oh, and there's a Centurion right there. Okay, you see, I already, I already overheated, and that's it. And this is like, as I said, it would be so much worse if Terra Therma was the first map I did this on. Uh oh, oh damn it! I want to. Oh wait, I can still get up there. Come on, this is this is the fadangling part of this game. I'm not jump sniping in the slightest. I know. Actually, I can do it down here. Let's go down here and do it, so, just so they don't shoot me. Hey, missiles! What's up? Uh, he lost his luck. Okay, so here's what you do. You go behind the nearest uh, hill or whatever, like this, where they can't shoot you. Uh, like right here, let's say. Okay, I want to hit that guy, okay? I can put on this vision, charge up my Goss, and fire them both, come back down into safety. Do it again. And rinse and repeat. That's all you do. I'm not even doing it right, because I'm right, right now exposed. Okay, let's uh, turn my arm so they hit my arm instead. By the way, don't put anything less than full leg armor on this thing. Because uh, people hit your leg by accident all the time when you're jump jetting, and it's the easiest way to actually get legged, even as an assault. That's that's one of the things I said, uh, I'm said. i saying, like, def jump jets are a great defensive option. Okay, so I have I have no sh I have no opportunistic shots, so we're gonna go up to people. There's a guy right there. We're just gonna go kick his ass. Looks like we're winning. So, but you know, this is a this is like a 35 damage alpha. It's fucking nice. Uh, by the way, the Goss is a charge mechanic now. If you see me do other videos with Gosses, this one I actually have to charge it up, so I usually charge it up at the at the height of my jump. And then, you know, just, just rain hell upon anybody. It's actually kind of, it's a cool thing. Actually, wait, let's get this guy. Oh, I didn't get him. Shucks. So there's that build, and that's that's pretty much Victor's for you. Um, it's it's a fun hybrid of uh, assault and heavy gameplay with basically jump sniping, and I think it's basically the best jump sniper in the game, using these builds. Uh, you know, there's a Highlander which can do similar things, but I think since all the weapons are in their arms, it makes it a better mech overall. So you know, that's just my opinion, man. I like how my tooltip for starting this map was press H for heat vision. You want to know what happens when you do heat vision on this map? Ah! Okay, anyways. Uh, so we're doing Cicada now uh, because uh, there's really not much more builds you can do with the Victor, to be honest. It's just those two. 
I, I wouldn't ever do a brawling victor build because you're retarded if you ever think that. Because uh, that's the, the, that's not what the mech excels at, in my opinion. Um, that's why I don't even use the missile slot. Screw them. Uh, so, you know, I'm doing right now uh, ER, ER large laser build with the uh, Cicada. And ever since the uh, PPCs got their inevitable nerf, uh, it's been sad. I cried a little bit. I shed a tear and then bot fuzzy dies. Um, but, you know, ultimately, though, um, I, I did make something out of it. And it was this, um, because I needed, I wanted to use my cicada for something. Now, the cicada is a really fucking fat mech, uh, because it's basically a medium that goes at light speeds. Uh, no, no pun intended, it's uh, light mech speeds, because I can keep up with light mechs. I want to still make a sniping build out of it, and it was severely gimped. I, I had so much fun with it. it. It's one of my most played mechs, because you get the ECM, and then you get the speed with Target it. It's acquired. just delicious. Um, so I want to still snipe with it. So I do laser sniping now. And so I want to show you. It didn't, it didn't deserve its own video. Instead, we're gonna just, uh, oh fuck, why do I, no, I, I, I said, I was making fun of it before for telling me that. So basically I just snipe people like this. Now this Atlas might hate me. No, he's uh, too distracted with the, the swarm of lights around him. And so uh, it actually runs more heat efficient, uh, has longer range uh, than regular PPCs at least. And it's just, and it uses up less slots. I have I'll have a lot more fr friggin' double heat sinks. It's it's delicious, and I even get medium lasers to just you know kind of battle people at close range. It's actually really really friggin' cool. I wonder where the rest of their team is. And uh, they're not fighting me, so I don't, guess I don't really care. I'm just gonna make sure I hit him a little bit. And so, uh, you know, this is the hottest map, and I consider it still to be running actually relatively heat efficient, because, I mean, I'm, I'm firing it, like, pretty often. Uh, well, I sh shut down. That's okay, though. And so with ECM, people don't really target you as often, because they're just, like, they don't see you. Uh, and especially since I'm just, I'm kind of just sniping now, I'm completely below their radar. It's really nice. It's actually a really fun build. Uh, so, you know, this guy might see me, and he might decide I'm, oh, no, he's tagging me. Let's run. When he tags me, he can go through my ECM. Oh, no, he, he opted to... He changed his mind on that. Well, now I get to just shoot him in the back. So this is kind of fun shit I get to do. I just get to, you know, shoot people in the back and be a, be a total dick. And so now he has no back armor. And now the rest of our team is probably just going to uh, bubble down on him. So the Cicada, I do not, do not consider to be a brawling mech, even in the slightest. You do not brawl with this thing, because it's too fat. You'll just get hit by everything. So in this one, like, in, this, in the fucking center torso is terrible. Because it's just like, it's a giant walking center torso, let's be honest now. Um, I, think that's, I think that's one of the terrible things about it. New target okay. acquired. You, you can also get sniped pretty easily. Like, literally, I have no armor in the arms, reduced armor in the... Uh, almost no armor in the cockpit. And reduced armor in the, uh, uh, in, in the legs as well. Because I never get fucking legged in this thing. It's always my center torso that goes first, because everything, it's like, it's everything that's horrible about a Jenner with no jump jets and even bigger. So, you know, that's that's it. I decided I want to snipe with this thing. And that's that's what I got it for. All right, let's finish him off. Nope, someone else got him. So you can pick out things pretty easily. It's And the, the disadvantage is everybody knows where the fuck you are every time you fire these ER large lasers. Because it's, uh, it's not very hard to figure out where the lasers are coming from. PPCs, you know, maybe you'd miss them. It'll take maybe, like, two shots for them to figure out where you are. Don't, don't goss me. Thanks. Thanks, bro. Uh, uh, I wonder if these lights are still gonna fight him. I, I need him to be distracted for me to fight him. Okay, good. He's distracted. So, you know, I, I move a little bit slower. Wow, my leg is getting severely damaged here. That's okay. All right. Well, you know, I think we're doing pretty good. Uh, I think I'll go help uh, with our team who's fighting over there. Oh, wait. No, I can still attack this guy. New target acquired. Uh, the question is, do I really want to? And the answer to that is no. So I can still go really fast, and it's it's the same speed as my PPC one. Um, I just, like, I took out most of the armor out of it, because it's just like, fuck that. That's that's all I have to say. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Large lasers, everyone. 
That's that's it. They're they're amazing. They're just amazing. I love them. Uh, and so like I never f truly appreciated them because I never really gave them a try because PPCs were really really good. Uh, so I ha I had no reason to. Uh, and so now I had a reason to, and now they're better. They're, they're really, really good. So I can have much more double heat sinks on them and all that kind of crap. So it's a, it's, it's a fun build. It is fun. Um, it's not as clutch as other builds, perhaps. Here, I'll get, I'll give this guy my ECM love. Uh. Target. Oh, damn. What does this guy even have? Oh, wait, he's weak in that torso. He's he's probably, he's he's definitely got uh, an XL on there. No, no, he doesn't. All right, fine, I'll just kick your ass then. You ain't running from me. Get out of here. Come on, pussies, let's go. Even, and, you know, I said I have reduced armor in the legs, and I'm now just, I'm paying for that. I'm going to get legged. This game, I can I could smell it. It's not that much reduced armor though. It it, it it's not not enough to make a difference. Holy shit! What are you getting killed by? Oh, and it's a guy right here. We'll find them together. All for one and one for all. Or the mech mu musketeers or something. Oh, there he is. I think. No. He's waiting for us. Target acquired. Why aren't you targeting my fucking... No, you're missing. Oh, yeah, we can take this guy. Kick his ass! Yeah! We win. I, l I love it when we're just like, uh... Oh, wait, wait, we have the last guy. He's like right there. And you know, ECM? Really useful. What's he even shooting at? Heat level critical. I should really stick with my team now, just so they do have the ECM coverage. I can just go right up to this guy and just kick his ass. So, you know, my medium lasers will help here. Hey, what's up? Oh, he's gonna go to lava! Let's fight down here. This is our final battle. Oh, now I, now I, oh, look, I killed him, actually. He had an XL. Well, you know, that that was a fun game. I like that. So we got to fight in Mordor. So that's this build. Really, really, really good uh, as a sniper mech. Uh, you know, it still is. It always was, but, you know, it just it's it's a better sniper mech in, in, in WoW in more than one way. That was a really good match. Cool.